boys and girls, happy Tuesday. I'm so glad you could join me for Engage Moments this evening. Now, I promised you a story about a hedgehog and I promised you a craft and we will be doing both this evening. So let's get tucked into the story that I have for you here. There once was a little girl who had a favorite stuffed animal and it was a hedgehog. Just like this one, isn't it cute? Now, one day that little girl could not find her stuffed animal hedgehog. She couldn't find him anywhere. She told her parents and they looked everywhere. They opened every cupboard. They called every restaurant they'd been to. They searched high and low and they could not find him. And the little girl said, please don't give up. I love that hedgehog so much. I really, really need to find him. He comforts me, please. So they carried on looking and the little girl's mummy said, hmm, let me just check the car. So she went into their car and guess who was tucked into the back seat of the car? This hedgehog was tucked right into the back of the car after they had searched high and low and had other people looking for the hedgehog too. But you know what? It was all worth it because the joy that that little girl felt when this hedgehog was found, the joy on her face, they didn't even need words of thanks. They could just see how happy she was that her hedgehog was found. Now, there was more joy over finding this hedgehog than there ever was over all of the other many, many stuffed animals than that little girl had. But because she knew that her hedgehog, even though he was her favorite, because she knew that he was lost, she knew that she had to find him. Now this reminds me of a story from the Bible. Now it's not about hedgehogs, it is about sheep. But is it really about sheep? Let's listen to the Bible story and then you can have a think and think, hmm, is this about sheep or is this about me and you? Okay. We are going to read from Luke chapter 15, verses 4 to 7. What man of you, what man of you having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he has found it, he lay it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me! I have found my sheep, which I had lost. Thanks be to God. Now, boys and girls... If you were that sheep, or if you were this hedgehog, and you got lost, if you lost your way, would you want Jesus to come looking for you? Or do you think Jesus would say, oh, I don't need to go looking for her, or I don't need to go looking for him because I've got so many other people, I don't need that one. No. Jesus will always come and find you no matter which path you take and if, if it's a path that is not one chosen by Jesus he will walk on that path with you until he brings you back now picture this if you are lost Jesus will seek you and if you find your way I should say when you find your way back to him Heaven is filled with joy. Heaven is filled with joy for you. Songs will be sung by angels. 
for you. Being saved by Jesus, finding your way back to God's path, that is what I want for you. That is what I want for each and every one of you. We all feel lost sometimes, myself included. We all feel lost sometimes. But I want you to know that Jesus will never leave you alone. He will always find you. And boys and girls, that is the message today. Now, we said about the sheep. Was God really talking about sheep? Was Jesus really talking about sheep? Or was he talking about you? If you get lost. Now, is he talking about getting lost walking in the woods? I think what Jesus is talking about is if you find yourself getting lost spiritually, if you find yourself not talking to Jesus, not praying, not going to church, not going to youth group, not going to Sunday school, you can find yourself lost. You can feel lost. And all you have to do, all you have to do is help Jesus find you. And that is what the story is about. So, boys and girls, right here is my second attempt at a hedgehog. Now, our last Engage Ministries, we made a hedgehog. I'm trying to copy this one here. We'll see how this, we'll see how that works out. Um, our last Engage Moments, we made a hedgehog out of Play-Doh. And I didn't realize until just before that I had run out of white Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, hmm, most other colors except for bright colors. So we ended up making a yellow hedgehog. And uh, that hedgehog was for Pastor Jim to make him feel better um, after feeling so poorly. So um, let's hope that hedgehog makes him feel better, that bright yellow hedgehog. Um, because yellow is a cheerful colour, not normally a hedgehog colour, but it's a cheerful colour. All right, this hedgehog isn't looking too shabby just yet. I will show you in a second. Oh, let me do an eye. Hang on. Let's do an eye here and an eye here. Oh, and a mouth. A mouth would be a good idea. Okay. So this is my attempt at a hedgehog. Boys and girls, I tell you, you're the ones with the artistic talent. I try very hard, but only use my examples as just that, examples. Don't ever feel like when you are going back and watching these engaged moments that your artwork has to look like mine because we are all individual in our talents and I'm sure that you can make some wonderful creations. So what I'm doing right now is cutting out the shape of the hedgehog. All right, come on hedgehog. If you didn't catch last week's uh, story on the hedgehog on Thursday, the message, then actually Thursday was the book. I think it was Wednesday that was the message. Anyway, if you go back on <clears throat> and have a look, you will see another message, another story that I told about a hedgehog. Okay, here we have the outline, whoops, the outline of our hedgehog. Now, always remember, my lovely boys and girls, to ask parent or guardian permission before you use scissors or glue or even go outside rummaging around for leaves always make sure to ask for someone's permission okay as you can see here i have some beautiful leaves that i picked up in my garden today the trees kindly dropped these for us today boys and girls so look at the color 
colors. Do you see that? Autumn colors. So we have, we go from dark brown to yellow and red. The autumn leaves are just so beautiful at this time of year. What I am going to do is get some glue. Let's put Hedgehog under here. Prop us up so you can see what I'm doing. We'll turn you around. I think this Hedgehog needs a name, just like our other one needed a name. So boys and girls, if you have any ideas, let me know. I am going to put glue all over the body of this Hedgehog. And I'm using squeezy glue because I wasn't sure that the uh, stick glue would stick these leaves. Now let's choose some leaves. I'm going to break off the stems and stick the leaves, all kinds of different colours, different leaves, and I'm going to stick them all over this hedgehog. Some are sticking and some are not, but that is okay. Now if you can't pull the stems off, you can cut them off. You see how this is working out, boys and girls? Is it looking a little bit more like a hedgehog? What do you think? Now, in our Engage Moment last week, boys and girls, we talked about foxes and hedgehogs and about how hedgehogs are such happy little creatures walking slowly through life and enjoying all the things they see and taking comfort in so much. And then there are the foxes who always think that they have a plan and not always the best plans either, not always the nicest plans. And there was a fox who decided that he wanted to snack on a hedgehog. Now, you may look at the hedgehog and you may think, he walks so slow, he's always smiling, he's gonna be such an easy target. Well, the fox soon found out that the hedgehog wasn't because the hedgehog discovered well, the hedgehog knew one big thing that the fox did not know about. The hedgehog protected itself with its spikes. The hedgehog rolled itself up into a ball so the fox couldn't get near it. And in that lesson, boys and girls, I explained to you that you are covered with the, the crown of thorns, the spikes, the love, however you would like to... to to put it, you are protected by God. So that one big thing, boys and girls, isn't just for hedgehogs. That one big thing is for you too. Any foxes, boys and girls, anybody that tries to lead you down a path that is not walking with God, that's a fox. If somebody is trying to pull you away from God or make you do things that you know are not right, that God would not want for you, then you need to find your way back onto the path with Jesus. Protect yourself with the love of Jesus. He will always find you and he will always protect you. Boys and girls, that is the end of today's lesson. Here is our hedgehog, not quite dry. Oh, there we are. Ta -da! And there we have it. Come up with a name for me, boys and girls, for our hedgehog. Um, send me a message and I will be back tomorrow with our Engage reading time, our Engage cozy time. I always encourage pyjamas, so go and hunt for some pyjamas and we will get on tomorrow at five o'clock and I will have a fabulous book to read you. All right, boys and girls, love to each and every one of you. Cheers and good night.